so this is part two of a two-part video on making the case for short stories. Okay, welcome back. In this video, I'm talking about the marketing element, the marketing advantages for short stories. So in part one, I was explaining that I think short stories get a bad rap and I was going to make a case for short stories. In part one, I talked about the creative advantages of writing a short story and why you should. So in this part, in this video, I'm going to talk about the marketing advantages. So marketing elements. So I'm, I'm in the park at the moment, so apologies if you hear some, some bees and some wind. So marketing elements. If you write short stories, you can showcase your writing skills. It shows you can write. If you cannot make 10, 20, 30 pages compelling, then why should you be able to make 300 pages compelling? It shows to others that you can write in different genres and different styles. So you can write a love story, a ghost story, a sci-fi story. It whets people's appetite. So when, you, when you're pushing these stories out, it shows that you are a marketable person. Secondly, writing short stories, it's quicker to market. By its nature, a short story is shorter obviously. So you can write and upload it to Amazon or some other platform quite quickly if you need to. And you can combine them into different collected volumes. So I upload my short stories individually on Amazon for 99 cents. So rather than delay, wait, wait for a year or so, you can keep uploading on a fairly regular basis. It also means short stories, it's easier to read. It can appeal to some readers because people have a shorter attention span now. They're not committing to a larger story, a larger novel. So it means you can whet their appetite, develop an audience, and they can download your work onto an iPad or, what, or read it on a phone as a sort of KDP single. So you, you're not trying to convince people to read a whole novel. This means, of course, you develop an audience quicker. Again, if you're working on a big novel, then nobody's gonna hear or see it for a year or two. But if you're writing short stories, you're starting to reach that audience and starting to develop a following. So four, in terms of marketing, having made, written and uploaded a bunch of stories, it means there are more opportunities for you to reach the audience and you can see what works, what is successful. So you're not putting all your eggs in one basket. You can have different stories, different genres, some focusing on character, some scene, some emotion. So again, you can play around and then you can respond to what works well. Otherwise, you'll spend all your, all your time working on one big story and if it doesn't fly, then you're stuffed. Next point, so by focusing on a type of, of character, for instance, a killer, a vampire, a police officer, a police detective, or a theme or a moment, you can market it to that genre, to that market. So you could, if you're writing a zombie piece, I'm writing a zombie piece at the moment, I'm going to market it to that zombie apocalypse type audience. If I'm writing a ghost story, then I can market it to that ghost story. If I'm writing a romance, a love story, then I can market it to that audience. So you are spreading yourself around, spreading the risk, and you're learning what works and what's good for you and what, what doesn't work. So I found that some, some people are drawn to thrillers. So I've done some legal stuff in other contexts, and I find that works well. There's an audience for that kind of thing. So again, you can focus on things. Otherwise, you're just putting all your eggs in one basket if you focus on one big novel over a, a several year period. Next, six. So options for movies. Now, if you're interested in movies and television adaptation, again, because you have a number of ideas, there's more chance of you getting some pickup from a producer or a, or a production company. Many movies, many ideas, many sort of documentaries, they start off as treatments, which are in fact a sort of short story form of what the movie is. So if you present your idea, your story, in a short story to production executives, you're going to have a better chance. You'll have more in your back pocket. If they don't like one thing, then you can pull out something from your back pocket and show them, saying, well, I've, you don't like the thriller, but I've got this ghost story, and I've got this zombie apocalypse one, and I've got this love story. So again, you're spreading the risk. If that's the way you want to go, you're more likely to get picked up for a movie or television. Next, productivity. So for one, say, 120 page movie script, you can have six or 10 or 15 short stories. It takes a while to generate a movie script and get it nice and taut. And I've done movie scripts in the past and I've pushed them around and I've done some movie work in the past. But again, it takes up a lot of time 
But if you devoted that time to working on half a dozen stories, 10, 20, two dozen stories, again, you're spreading the risk. And finally, if you have a collection of stories, you can add them to different anthologies, so you can mix and match. So I collect mine into collector stories at volume one, two, and three, and four, but I'm also going to mix and match. So I'm going to put the, say, the love stories all in one volume as a sort of greatest hits. I'm going to put the mystery stories into another volume. And because you're writing some stories that might be part of one universe, you can put all the stories that relate to that universe in another volume. So you can mix and match much more easily. And that is really it. I'm writing a, I mean, I'm making the case for short stories, but I'm, I'm writing a novel and I'm hoping to have that out called Nigel. My name was Nigel and that's coming out later on this year. I'm just tidying up the manuscript and sorting out the cover at the moment. But again, I've just produced a second volume of short stories and I'm working on volumes three and four. So that's my case for short stories. So if you haven't seen the first video on the creative elements, making the creative case for short stories, check that out. Otherwise, check out my other videos. And this is important in terms of marketing. So I recommend you have a think and start knocking short stories out. I think it's the future. OK, thank you. Please subscribe. Check out the other videos. Like as you can. That would be great. And that will help the channel.